Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome. I'm, I'm Dan. And I'm Nicole. <laughs> and welcome to uh, part two of our holiday special. Um, this time we're going to talk about the N-Scale layout that we built. Yay! Thought we'd separate it and throw it in as a little bonus. Yes. Well, you know, we're doing a lot of HO scale a lot of the time. And we see a lot of comments from N-Scalers, you know, that a lot of the stuff can transfer and that's great. But, you know, it's nice to throw in an N-Scale uh, setup every once in a while for you guys. And this is a cool one. We didn't get to do the lights like we'd like to. Um because we have kittens. Yeah. <laughs> and so this is a very quick day setup, which we'll explain um, later as we're setting it up, um, just to have a little bit of fun. So there won't be any lights, but it will still be great fun. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, me too. So we're gonna put it flat down. You know, or in this case, I think this is like a bed sheet. <laughs> and uh, I chose this because I'm going to try and stretch it all the way down to the other side of the table just so that it keeps it um, flat. And then we're going to put our truck down. And also white because, you know, snow. <laughs> <laughs> Fake snow. So again, you don't have to be like me and have all of this um, stuff quite so neatly stacked or arranged <laughs> but like I said I like to be able to set stuff out and see what we can do and if Daniel needs something be able to hand it to him quickly. Before I met Nicole my box of track was a jumbled mess so <laughs> it's much better now. <laughs> I'm not going to say neat freak, a neatophobe. <laughs> like, no, I, I, I just feel like it makes it easier, you know. So I do do the work in the beginning so that I don't have to do the work in the end, which, you know, you'll have to do the work somewhere. So <laughs> all of us do the work somewhere. So here we go, end scale. Why are you doing end scale, Daniel? Uh, because we did HO before. That's and right. We did another program about that. That's right. Um, so, plus um, I have a little Kato uh, 2017 Operation North Pole Christmas train, which is actually a, a Chicago Metro uh, commuter train that they paint in a special or wrap, I guess. I think the cars are wrapped in that oh, final that final wrapping that they do. Um, but it's a special train they do every year. So um, that's kind of our. Christmas train, which is cool and also still somewhat realistic. Right, and that um, needs a chance to run. Right, because it's right. the only time we ever get it out is at Christmas. <laughs> so, right. At least right now. Right now, that is true. Yeah. And why else? I mean, it's N scale. It's N scale, and we have a lot of N scale people uh, who uh, are fans of, of the channel. And That's right. Want to make sure, because, you know, I, I started actually at N scale when. Um, when I was three years old, Santa brought me an N-scale layout, so that's how I got started in all this. Um, <laughs> so, um, it's it was I didn't actually start doing HO until I was uh, pretty much in my late teens, so probably when you could afford it more, you know, delicate yeah, machinery, bigger. Yeah, and I started expensive. I started getting intrigued by the detail. Um, because in HO you could do a lot of detailing, and back then the N scale stuff was not as good as it is now. So, um, you know, it ran the HO ran better, at least okay. the, the stuff that I was looking at. So, um, those are kind of things that kind of got me more focused on that. But I, I still have quite a bit of N scale stuff. So. Okay, well, how much space do you want to use of this? Let's start there. I don't know. With the, uh, this is our a, territory. Yeah, this is a really long table, so I think maybe <laughs> just... Um, not like we did before with the end scale and the whole thing. I think maybe just like maybe like this this end. A portion of it. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we're just doing a smaller, um, albeit still Christmas special for the end scale people, because, you know, <laughs> gotta love the end scale people too. Um, the reason why we're doing a little bit smaller is because we have three kittens that are definite kittens this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, they're bigger now because they're, they're about, what, six, seven, eight months old? Right, yeah. yes. But yes. they're still acts like kittens. Right, um, <laughs> yes. 
and everything is a cat toy. <laughs> everything. <to them. laughs> so. Yes. Um, so, you know, we put up our lovely tree and the HO scale and it was immediately catzillid. Um, and of course we got some very cute footage of it. Which is <laughs> super cute, naughty kittens. But by the fifth time you're not so much like naughty kittens. You're kind of like, well... <laughs> <laughs> so we put them away for the night so that we could do this. But we need to pick it up tonight, too. So this is going to be a very temporary um, Christmas layout. Yeah. <laughs> just so, just for you guys. <laughs> just for, for this year. Hopefully next year we'll, uh, we'll have our g uh, game room yes. finished. And that'll be a cat-free zone where yes. we can do uh, probably our tree and everything out there. And that is going to be the plan, is that we will move the... Um, the actual Christmas tree, the Christmas village for the HO train scale, and the N scale um, Christmas layout into the playroom and on the various surfaces in the playroom. Plus, we're already going to have a, a train that goes around the top. It's, it's not a secret. It's not a secret. <laughs> we're going to have trains everywhere. It's not a secret, you guys. It's not a secret. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's so cute. And then we thought we would just put a, tra a tree in here with um, nothing but you know, cat toys, and that way when they knock them off, we won't care. <laughs> so, you know, upcoming years, hopefully we'll um, have a huge, expansive, um, lots of cool stuff to look at. But this year, for the end scalers, we're going to do a cool temp track um, with all of our Christmas stuff. Yeah. So, uh, you know, let's have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to start at? Uh, well, I usually start with curves, so let's... Well, that's right, you do. So, okay, so these were separate, so these are smaller. Those are smaller curves. All right, which ones would you like to start with? Mm, Do you want to build ones. both or well, and see what works? Okay. Okay. Do you? Okay. And come on this side. That looks like that should work. Where did you put the electricity at? Over here. Okay. What if, you know, somewhere we had a sidetrack? Okay. Where did it? No, I guess this is fine. That would go in there, though. Yeah, where do you want it? Do you want to go out or in? This little one because this plus this makes one of those, right? Yes. Yeah, I remembered. Yeah, that should, okay. that should do it for track for the moment. This is a Tomi Tech moving bus system. Uh, the roadway that it comes with has two different sizes of curves, and in order to make a an oval, you gotta kind of mix them. And it makes kind of this lopsided oval. I think the idea is that you're supposed to get two sets, and then it would make like a, a two-sided highway. Hmm. So the little curves, I think, fit inside the bigger curve, like that, to make a... Oh. But they don't give you enough to make that whole road, so... Um, in order to make it go around... Well, that is interesting. Yeah. Can they just give you half the oval? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool though, it has a wire embedded under the roadway, and the bus has a little magnet that actually uh, follows the wire, so the front wheels will actually steer, and it, the bus will go around until it, uh, its charge runs out, or until you turn it off, 
and you can charge it with the USB cord. This is some pretty vintage stuff, some of it. <laughs> this is like from when I was a kid. I wouldn't doubt that. A lot of these. You have vintage stuff. Yeah. Yeah, some of these buildings are... Oh. Well, kind of old. <laughs> I'm already like... Not naming you. <laughs> anyway, not gonna date yourself. <laughs> Ah, that's so cute. The cutest. <laughs> oh, these are probably when these got built. Some of the people watching weren't born yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. They don't all stand up very well. They'll stand eventually. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got it with this guy out like he's white with a black mane. Yeah. It's a pretty horse. Look at a nice little group of horses out here. Like they all fall the first time if they're drunk though. It's funny. Oh, I just knocked one over too, so there is always that. <laughs> The more you put on, the more you'll knock over when you're putting on more. Just So I don't have a decoder in this engine, so I'm just using a regular old DC power pack. Yeah, it still works. While we had this set up, I thought I'd also run this Amtrak set.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we had a lot of fun building it. We uh, did, probably, and running trains on it. <laughs> yeah, we're probably not going to get to leave it up for very long, but... Um, no, no, in fact, we're just going to preemptively not be angry at the kitties and put it away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not have a problem. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep some of our HO scale um, Christmas stuff up that is sturdy and can withstand the kitties walking around it, but we're going to put some of that away too. Yeah, it, you know, it's just this year they're still young. And, yeah. um, you know, as we mentioned in the video, next year I think our game room should be finished and uh, we'll be able to put everything in there, and that's a cat free zone, so I think we'll be, yes. we'll be good. Yes, and we'll be able to get more. Uh -oh. More? Christmas Village. Yeah. Because <laughs> we'll have more space than what we have in here. Yeah. Did you hear him say more? <laughs> this is the train guy. I said more. Yes, more. More, yeah. More. Well, it'll also be easier to photograph because it's. this is kind of actually a big dining table that we have. And um, it's hard to actually shoot around it, <laughs> especially for the stuff that's on the floor. Yes, so, um, very much so. But we'll try to get it all in one singularly shot before we leave. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, Merry Christmas.